Hi, I'm Lulu B, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered how to shift out of negativity? So let's say that you're just seem to be surrounded by people who are frustrated, things aren't going your way, everyone around you just seems to be in a bad mood, and you just don't know how to get yourself out of that place. Or let's say that you are sad about something that didn't go your way, you're just disappointed and you don't know how to move past that disappointment. The problem is that many people don't realize that they can take the wheel, they can be in the driver's seat of their life when it comes to how they're feeling, their mood. They can be proactive and take steps to feel better. There's actually proven ways to shift out of negativity, but many people don't realize it's it's as simple as it is. A perfect example of this just happened here in my home a couple weeks ago. So my nine-year-old daughter came into my room in the morning and she was lamenting the fact that she didn't get to sleep in. She had to walk the dog that morning and she was just very disappointed. She didn't get to sleep in and there's never a time to sleep in and she was just very sad. And so I decided to tell her about something called the helper's high. I asked her if she wanted to feel better and she said yes. And so I said, well, there's something called the helper's high where there's endorphins, there's chemicals that release inside the body when you help someone else. So if you want to help someone else, do something nice for them. And then to share in her lamenting, I said, well, I got to get up and go downstairs and clean up the kitchen because I always have to clean up the kitchen whenever I come downstairs. And then she left the room and then came up a few minutes later and told me that she had cleaned the kitchen for me. And I, of course, laid on the praise and talked about how proud I am of her, how that is so helpful, that was so kind. And I was just really amazed that she took that learning lesson and applied it. And when I asked her, how do you feel? Did it work? Do you feel better? And she smiled and said, yes. And so the solution to shifting out of negativity is to plan on helping others. There is scientific studies that show areas of the brain light up when you help someone else. So the areas associated with reward and pleasure, that part of the brain is activated when you go out of your way and help someone else. There's also endorphins that release, that make you feel good, the same kind that are released when you exercise. And these, these studies have shown that those who volunteer live longer than those who don't. Those who heavily volunteer actually have better physical health than exercising four times a week. So this helper's high is actually a great solution for when you yourself need a boost in your mood. Some objections to this idea would be that I just can't shift out of this mood myself, I just can't think about this kind of stuff, or I do nice things for other people and they don't even notice, they don't even recognize, they don't say thank you when I hold the door open for them. And it's not necessarily about getting that reaction, it's just you doing it because it's nice, it's kind, and it is love in action. So my challenge for you is to do something nice for someone every day. I know that this might not be something that comes naturally to you. I would suggest even scheduling it in your calendar, creating a note somewhere that I'm going to express my gratitude to someone or do something nice. And I have a download for you guys. It is a customizable gratitude in action where you simply add the date and today I blink. What did you do that day to show gratitude in action? It can be something as simple as holding the door for someone or expressing your deep appreciation to, let's say, your parents that you really have been thinking about what they've done for you in life and you just appreciate the solid foundation they give you. You appreciate your spouse for supporting you emotionally and financially. Start changing your life by sharing love and gratitude with others. I would love it if you shared this with your friends, shared it with your family, because if you, can you imagine what it would be like if we all were kinder to one another, if we all just waited that extra second for the person coming in behind us, or just, just we're more grateful for what is already around us. 
I would love to know what you are grateful for, what you plan to do today to share this gratitude in action, to show kindness, become a kindness warrior with me. Comment below how you're going to do that or what you did. I challenge you to just do this for a week. See how it makes a difference in your life. See how it changes. And I promise you'll be amazed because it's, it's, it's body. It's our body chemistry. We're wired to help. 